Good morning. I'm at Mars Brewing Company, the mothership. They have about three locations, but they're celebrating their 10th anniversary this weekend. Saturday, there's a big party here in the parking lot. Ed's here with me. Good morning, Ed. Hey, great to see you, and yeah. I love being with you. I know. Well, you can't get over your karaoke clip. I know. what. That's the best thing that's, that's ever happened it. to me. Let's not talk yeah. about beer no more. I'll see you later. All right. Okay. You've, you've peaked. Thanks. You've peaked. I have. All right. Not only you guys started with beer, but now at this wall, we can see you have seltzer water. You have all sorts of things. Yeah, we make uh, non-alcoholic beverages, spirit mm -hmm. free beverages. We also actually have a distiller's license, so we make bourbon, oh, vodka, wow. mm -hmm. gin, etc. We make canned cocktails. Mm -hmm. We also make hemp derived uh, seltzer products. Mm -hmm. We make tea, we make coffee, we make soda. We just love all beverages. Right now is like a golden age for making non-alcoholic beverages. Yeah, it's interesting. I've, I've covered a couple of those, but your background is art and yes. community organizing and how you have connected that with the buddy system. Explain a little bit of that to us. Uh, the buddy system is like uh, an ecology of different nonprofit businesses like publications, a radio station that we mm -hmm. have, along with retail businesses like Mars. Mm -hmm. So the nonprofit stuff works in tandem with their retail stuff to provide um, an interesting take on culture in Chicago. Mm -hmm. We want to promote what's happening in Chicago through as many outlets as we can. Mm -hmm. So we have a publication called Lumpen Magazine. Mm -hmm. We have a retail space in which we sell the work of artists from Chicago inside the Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. We also have a, um, a great space called the Co Prosperity, in which we have exhibitions and shows mm -hmm. and talks. And of course, we're related to Maria's and Kimski, the Korean Polish uh, restaurant that's um, probably the it's only one in the bridge yeah, board. That's yeah. right, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have our space in uh, Logan Square in Bucktown, the Life on Mars uh, location. Yeah. And we've just been working together to try to provide outlets for different people to show their work or perform it's or DJ. It's also kind of the vibe at the tap room, too. You want community to also be involved here, come do their fundraisers here, whatever they need. Absolutely. We try to do everything we can to facilitate and create platforms for people to do their own projects or show their work or celebrate an event or do a talk or do a mm -hmm. screening or have a performance. Mm -hmm. uh, we love working with Chicago's greater artist community because we've been involved in it yeah. for so long. Yeah. Prior to doing the brewery, we've been involved in the arts and culture in Chicago yeah. for over 20 years. That's great. So it's like 30 plus years of having a great time working with some of the best artists, cultural workers, designers, and weirdos in Chicago. And it's all, this is one of the spaces that we like to hang out in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I heard it's packed every week and it's gonna be packed again tomorrow night when they celebrate their 10th anniversary. Congratulations, Thanks, Ed. Anna. It was great to meet you. you. Great vibe here, back to you guys.